something pop on my screen. I don't know what it is. Let's continue. So you don't you don't stop yourself with fake food and kill the last remaining nutrients out of the food with it by popping in the microwave and then you eat it. Then you take back, you watch some TV, then they 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 dumb you down and they dull you and they hypnotize you with the TV, the television, uh -huh. television through their channel. You know what happens when you channel something? Yeah, okay, you get it. You connect the dial yourself, you connect it, no problem. Mm -hmm. Through the TV channel, and they hypnotize you by with the Hollywood, all kind of nonsense. Why you feel they hypnotize? You feel your body with drunk food, then you feel your mind, your spirit with drunk stuff by watching the TV. Then you go to bed, you have a nightmare. You say, Why you have a nightmare? That's another story. But then you work at that, you repeat that same vicious cycle for 5, 10, 20, 30 years. Then when you get to retirement, you are so broke and you are broken. Mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, you are broke and you are broken. Then what next? They put you in an old folks' home and give you some diapers and pump you with some medication. That the money you work for for retirement, you can't even enjoy it now because your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit is broken and it's broken. You can't even enjoy the money you, you, they, they took away from your taxes. They call you for retirement. You can't even enjoy that. Maybe you spend five, ten years in, in retirement, you don't dead. You see that? The system, I don't like the system. The system is set up, it's a form of modern day slavery. Slavery never ended, it just shaped form and changed name. The people who are preaching to you, you must go to school and get a degree. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not liking some, some, some degrees you have to, some places, some profession, you might have to go get a degree. You know, that a third degree, free amazing, okay, you gotta get a degree. The judges wear black gown when they meet in the judges' chamber. When those people go in the, the, the lodge, the masonry to go do the ritualistic thing, they also wear black gowns. When you're graduating, you wear black gowns. To collect your degree from your 33rd degree Freemason. I'm just saying, oh, there's too much I cannot say, so I'm just speaking in coded language. <laughs> Who get it? Fine, you get it, it's okay. If you're girl, you're girl. If you're girl, it's okay. <laughs> but if you realize that people are pushing you to get degrees, most of them don't have it. Mark Zuckerberg, who did Facebook, he's a billionaire. Ask me what degree he got. Okay. Bill Gates, what degree he got. Steve Jobs, what degree he got. Jeff Bezos, I can name many of them. Most of them, they are pushing you to go to Harvard. This is, the education system is just set up to dumb you down, to brainwash you, and to... There's some words I don't, you know, I... I, I just, there's some things I cannot say because I've been on YouTube for seven, eight years. My other channel is talking now because of... You understand me? There's some words. I'll just leave it like that. But the education system is meant to just graduate. I call them intellectual robots. In almost all profession, most you got a degree, you're not, you are nothing more than an intellectual robot. What that means, you go to school, you memorize some information, you pass the test, and you get a you get a A or whatever, and then you stay there for three, four, five, six years, and then you graduate, you get a piece of degree. But when you study or you memorize, you, when you go take the exam, you are just regurgitating what you memorize. They're not teaching you how to be analytical thinkers. They're not thinking how to be critical, rational, analytical thinkers. They just teach you to get memorize something and regurgitate it. That's it. If you are honest with yourself, so that's why when people have problems, they can't even find a solution because they, the education system is not set up to teach you to be an analytical, critical thinker and a rational thinker to reason things out. No, everybody just get in their feelings or you just memorize and regurgitate stuff and you are done. That's not what being smart is. That's not what intelligence are. No. So the education system is really set up to graduate intellectual robots. Mem memorize some information, regurgitate on your exam, you pass, you get a piece of paper, you get your degree, and you come and go to work and work from nine to five, uh, uh, 10, eight hours a day, another 10, two hours commuting to eat your fake food, to pop in the microwave, and then when you hit 60, 65, or even something like 40, 45, 50 people, bodies are broken. People are sick. You see people in America that are 50, 40 years old, they know that they could warn me, and I'm in my 50s. Hello, somebody. Uh -huh. So the system is set up to enslave you mentally, enslave you financially. That's why they, then when you graduate with your degrees, you go get a job, then you get a mortgage, and you haven't finished paying off your student loan debt, then you get a mortgage, mortgage, what's in a mortgage? Mortgage means death grip. So you get a 30 years death grip. By the time you finish paying off that house, you're 60, 70 years old. Is that life? Let's be honest. Is that life? That's what you're putting this earth for, to work for somebody else, make the company grow, get a few pennies, put yourself in there with student loan, put yourself in there with a mortgage, with a 30 years debt grip, 
Then we finish paying for it. You are 30, 30 years later, you finish paying off the house. You are in your 60s and 70s. What's life? What's left for life? What? What? Is that a life? And our house now, 30 years later, is old and broken unless you have to keep maintaining it over the years. And they call that life. They call that civilization. They call that modernization. So the system, I don't like the system the way it's set up. Honestly, I don't like the system the way it's set up. I'll be honest to tell you. It's a form of modern day slavery. Slavery never and it just shape form, it change names. That's it. And the education system doesn't do better. There's nothing practical. Everything is memorization, regurgitation. Memorize, regurgitate. That's why you go to the doctor sometimes. They don't even have they are only they only memorize diseases or the symptoms of diseases and they memorize which prescription they gave you. That's it. I can't talk too much. My channel is growing, I want to continue. I, there's so much thing I want to say. I want to go in depth, but I just have to give you surface, shallow information. Because I've had issues with these people, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah? Because they're not trained to sit and think, what is the root cause of this problem? Let me get down to the root cause. Nah, pop a pill, you are done. And we all know those things have four, five different, six different side effects. Isn't it? You see? So the system is set up to enslave you mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. It's, it's meant to enslave you. And then the, the, the media added to hypnotize you and seduce you. And have you living in a fantasy world that Hollywood have painted a picture that, oh, we gotta fall in love. And you meet your Prince Charming, and you'll fall in love, and you'll live together happily ever after. Who sold you that nonsense? Hollywood did. And the whole world is suffering from that nonsense. It's a mental psychosis. Is that what the, word, the right word? It's a madness. Hollywood sold the whole world that nonsense. And everybody looking for the Prince Charming or the Princess Charming to come and rescue the damsel in distress and whisk you off the horse and take you or Cinderella will go for a Prince Charming and blah, 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 blah. It's nonsense. And we all bought that nonsense. Both line and single. Who found a Prince Charming? Whoever fall in love. Just how you fall in love, you fall out. Who told you love is a falling, it's a feeling? Love is a choice. You choose, and I'll tell you how you choose to love. You love your children. If you are a good mother and a good parent, you love your children almost to death. You love your children and you lay down your life for your children. You give your kidney, you have your labor. You love your children like that, correct? Isn't it? If you are a good mother, now, we, know, we know some parents out there, they are wicked, they are evil. But on average, for the most part, most parents are very good parents. They will love, they will die and lay down their life for their children. And you love your children. Can you lay down your life for your husband? Can you lay down your life for your sister, your cousin, your auntie, your uncle? No, because you choose not to. Simple. Love is a choice. It's not a feeling. So all this I feel, I fall in love. It's a Hollywood nonsense. Hollywood not brainwash you, you're not falling in love. Eh, eh, fall in love with Hollywood nonsense. Eh, eh, get rid of that. There's no, I, I come at this age and I realize if I knew this information, I wouldn't be wasting, I wouldn't have wasted my young years. Yes. Looking for Prince Charming and Princess Charming for what? Ah, it's not a Prince Charming or Princess Charming. Find somebody. That you guys are compatible intellectually, spiritually, financially. That you agree. I mean, I agree upon everything, but you may agree upon some things. And find a medium ground that you can agree, agree upon certain things. And at least you don't have to put a bag on the person you ask to kiss them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> at least you gotta have a sense of humor. At least you find an attraction. That's what I mean. You find him. At least you guys. I don't even know where I start. Them kids don't distract me in my video. But anyway, what I was saying. Yes, you guys, the kids don't describe me down there. I don't know where, where I stop. I honestly don't know where I stop. But I say Hollywood, I was talking about Hollywood, right? Yeah, all this falling in love, falling in love. Yeah. Once matter who you are mutually attracted to, uh, you can mutually agree upon most things, if not everything, but some things, they have some mutual common ground. And you find that person decently, halfway, on average, attractive. That's why all the person is, what do you call it, drop dead gorgeous. Why you got to drop this? Yeah, anyway, listen, well, start listening to the words we speak of. Why the person got to drop this? Mm -hmm. say, oh, kill them with kindness. Why you got to kill somebody to be kind? I don't understand. Why we can't just speak properly? Anyway, you don't got to be drop dead. You got to be drop dead if you can be gorgeous. Why you got to drop dead to be gorgeous? Or why the gorgeous person got to be drop dead? Anyway, the point I'm saying is you find somebody who's mutually, uh, you mutually agree upon most things. You may not agree upon everything all the time, but most for most for the most part, on average, you agree upon most things. Wonderful. You'll find each, each other somehow decently attractive, fine. 
and y'all can work together and build a life together that is life that is marriage that is love that there are days your 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 spouse or your children may piss you off you want to slap them but you look at them i love me to hold your tongue hold your anger by your tongue or is it by your tongue hold your face mm -hmm. that's what love is love is a choice you might want to slap your kids sometimes and make them swallow their teeth but you hold back it's love that makes you to constraint and to hold back so love is a choice. So you choose not to slap them and make them swallow all their teeth. Whether it be your spouse or your child, you choose because love is a choice. You see, love is not no feeling. I feel, I felt. That's why you're every because you make love a feeling. That's why you feel and you fell in love. Feeling, fell, feel. You fell in love and when the feelings die. You fall out of love. It's called divorce. You see there. When you make that stuff intellectual, understand properly, you realize and this, this marriage here. This is not about feelings, this is about choices. So my spouse made me there today, I choose not to do what I'm supposed to do. Or you're going to some top town, you the spouse, you choose not to go sleep outside. Or you choose not to steal, you choose, it's a choice. And I don't even think it's, I don't think it's even limited to just love. I think, I think all of life is a choice. See the video taking a whole other turn. Don't worry. I think everything in life is a choice. You choose, it's not a feeling because if you go by your feeling, you will never accomplish anything in life. Why? Because you can wake up in the morning, you, cannot, you don't even feel like going to work. If you are honest with yourself, the way the system in America and the Western nation, you, you, when you think about the stress, what you got to deal with customer, you got to deal with co-worker, you got to deal with your boss, you got to deal with the employee. When you think about all those stress and drama, you don't even feel like going to work. But you get up and go because what? You choose, it's a choice. You see them? Those who want to exercise and lose weight, or they want to get fit, maybe the person wants to be a fitness model, or they want to be Miss America. Someday they want to eat McDonald's and ice cream and bag of chips and just be gluttonous. They want to, they want to be yeah, gluttonous. But they don't do it because why? They choose to eat healthy and be disciplined and exercise because the picture in mind is they want to be the Miss America. Or they want to be a fitness model and be on the cover of every fitness magazine. They want they, they, they have that goal in mind. They have that Olympic, like they see the Olympic uh, athletes that train for years. They have that medal in mind. They have that success in mind. It's because it's a choice. You choose. You see there? So everything in life, so you, you picture in mind that I'm getting married. I want to get married for life. So even though my spice is getting under my skin today, uh, these few months of you, I choose to be with this person to death to us, but I made a choice and I will stick with them. When they bump, they take anything, they bump the roads, I will be here. You choose. But because it was a feeling, you don't have the feelings no more, so you jump for the goods because everything was based on feelings. But if it's based on choice, you will choose better. When you know better, you choose better, you act better, you do better, you be better. Can I get an amen? I preach you. Uh -huh. I, will, I will become a something here. <laughs> I don't know what put in the comment section. You see what I'm saying? Everything in life is a choice. The career you're working on, maybe you choose or your parents didn't choose it for you. Who knows? But it's a choice. You don't feel like going to work today, but you got up and went. Why? You choose because if you didn't, you know what happened. You getting me? Yes. So the pick of the phone and say, you know, you're gonna hear the latest gist. I hear about diagnosis, some kind of latest gist. You choose. You choose now. There's somebody else here, here let's just about you, then your name spread, then you start crying. But you just so that same see on somebody else. Everything in life is a choice. It's not no I feel. When you start putting your feelings in it, it will not last because of you. The day you don't feel like going to work. And you don't today you don't feel like going to work, you don't go. You call out. Tomorrow you don't feel like work, you go. After two or three times you call out, you won't you won't have a job. So if you base things on feelings, you will not have nothing in life. You not accomplish anything in life. You not accomplish anything if you go by what you feel and your feeling. You not get nothing in life. You got your your, your supermarket. You feel like opening today. You open it. You feel like opening tomorrow. You don't open it. After what the, the customer will say, the person has to go to go somewhere else. So everything in life is a choice. You choose. So I'm asking you guys to choose to come home. Hello. What's the other part we're talking about? What I like. And this like I think I think we're American now. Let me talk to Liberia. The phone company in Liberia got to improve. The internet company in Liberia got to improve. 
the light situation got to improve. The water situation, it can improve, but you just get your own bobo in your yard like I'm, like I'm planning on doing. That one fine. But the food here, and the food are natural and organic. The air is clean, it's pure. And the other things that I really like about like living home, it is stress free. The system here is not set up like this. And the people are laid back and relaxed and they can chill. Yes, we call it laziness. We call it sometimes lack of discipline, lack of principle, lack of structure. And part of it is true. But people are just laid back and relaxed. They are so nonchalant. Nothing moves them. Mm -hmm. You tell them come to work, seven o'clock they come now, and you have a problem with it, they look at you like you are the problem. <coughs> I used to get so vexed. I used to, I used to the vein by the pop, I used to pop a, try to pop a vein in my neck. Sometimes dealing with them, my employees, sometimes I feel like taking a cigarette break. I don't even smoke. Yes, you do need some structure to be in, in all honesty. But the people here are relaxed and laid back. Don't not move them, not to stress them. That's why we don't have money development. But we do need some structure. The life here is easy, easy, go lucky. And it doesn't cost much to live a good, decent life. You can have a driver here. You can have a chef to cook your food every day or once a week. Somebody will come and clean your house. Somebody will come and wash your clothes. Baby say your children, you don't need a whole lot of money to live like celebrities do in the States or in the Western nation. The, the ladies, the, somebody call them nurse, I'm not sure why. Those who come to your house, they will clean your house, cook your food, and sometimes wash your clothes, they call them nurse. Some of them, they, get, they pay them. From what I, I did some research, they pay them $80 a month. Some people, they pay them $100 a month. And some of them work five, six days a week. I have my own, but I don't work. They work. I make them work two, three days out of the week. That's it. Mm -hmm. I don't need. I, I used to cook and clean for myself and clean up after myself when I was in the States. I got lazy here. Yeah, but I do it. Like washing clothes. I'm not washing no clothes with no hands. No, thank you. Once I get my machine, see that person job finished, and they don't need to wash my clothes. But at least they can still clean my house. So I can come clean your house maybe two, three times out of the week. They can clean your house. Which is mopping or vacuuming or dusting down. If you got clothes to wash, if you don't have a washing machine yet, they can wash your clothes. They can also cook your food two, three times out of the week. And each time they come, you can probably give them twenty dollars. If they come three times, that's sixty dollars right there. Once where are some people doing the same job six days a week and they're getting eighty dollars a month, a hundred dollars a month. You see there? Yes. On average, people get eighty to hundred dollars a month for that kind of job. That's when they work five, six days a week. You see, you can do that. So you can pay them twenty dollars. $20 a day, and they come maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. They cook, and, and even in the States, I never cook every day either. I cook my food, I'll cook two or three different types of meals, prep them, put them in a ziplock bag or a container, and put them in the freezer. So someday, I feel like eating this thing, I have it, I take it, I just reheat it in the pot. I don't do microwave, I don't have microwave. I reheat it, if I make them cook my soup stuff, or somebody just prepare my stuff, and I'll do my own cooking. When I say prepare, we go to the market to get my okra. They will clean it, wash it, cut it, slice it, dice it for me. Um, they put it in the blender, blender, put it in the zip like that, put it in the freezer. I may have 10 bags of okra in this freezer. My onions, my pepper, everything will clean it, pick it, everything. I may put it in the blender, put it in the zip like that, put it there. So I'm ready to put it. So it can help you to prepare my stuff. It's the washing clothes. Was the means in my apartment in the city was a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. It comes into a small apartment. I don't even think we're good for 800, 700 square foot, 900 maybe. Mm -hmm. They will come, they clean the apartment, which is mapping. There was everything is tired, so no vacuuming. They map, they sweep, they map. That's it. They wash my clothes. If I needed water, if we don't have water that day, they will, put, they will get water for me. But the water system was getting better. And I paid them $20 each time they come. That's $60 a week. Whereas they own the counterpart making $80 a month doing the same work for six days a week. I'm just saying, it's, it's very cheap here to live comfortably. How the celebrity live, they got chef, they got driver, they got chef, or the cook chef, it seems they got chef, they got driver, they got nanny, you know, house help, housekeeper, butler, all those things. You can have them here and don't have the kind of budget that Hollywood has and still live comfortably. Look how I'm sitting here on my porch, enjoying the beautiful ocean view from my master bedroom or the main bedroom balcony. This is how people are living in Hollywood. This is how celebrity live. And I'm living here for dirt cheap. You see what I'm saying? And I'm inviting you to come and join me. Be my neighbor. You may not be my adjacent neighbor because most of the land close to me have been so. But you walk down the beach five, ten minutes down, you can be my neighbor. You walk on this side five, ten, five, ten minutes down, you can be my neighbor. 
five ten minute walk on the beach you see there so you guys those are things i don't know i don't know if i made any sense in this video i've been all over the place back and forth in and out and you know what i'm saying so looky here um those are the things that i like and don't like about liberia and if i had a chance would i move back to america hell no i'm sorry if it offend you i'm sorry i'm sorry I don't say I hate America, but if I had a chance to move back, would I move? Hell no. Sorry. Mm. If I offend you, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I mean it. Sorry. But ain't nothing there. I don't even have anything to go back for. If I go, I'm going to start from scratch. At this age, I bet. Nigerian say, I bet, Jari. Please, sit on down somewhere. Sit on down up in the corner there. Sit on down. Sit on down. At this my age, I go there. I'd rather come home here and start from scratch. Which is what I did. And look what I accomplished in one year. I could I have accomplished this in one year in America? No way. All of you want to play DV and run to America. There's no you can accomplish this kind of lifestyle in America in one year. You can. It will take you 10, 20, 30 if we accomplish this. If we get a house, you know you do get a house. It's not even your house, you still pay mortgage. Even when the house is paid off, you still gotta pay property taxi until you die. Hello? Uh -huh. Then you pay mortgage, life, insurance property tax this that car no you can't accomplish this kind of thing in one year you can't if you go to america uk canada you cannot take you five ten twenty years before you even come close so in one year i came home i got a house i blessed the most high thank you hello so i think i've made some sense and whoever agreed that i made sense you can put in the comment section and I, don't forget order your t-shirts oh i say order your t-shirt place your orders i will start putting my t-shirt video yes I will start putting it in the videos, all the pictures and I got pictures. Patronize me. Locally, you won't even bless your, your sisters, your brothers, your aunties, your uncles, your grandmother, the birthday coming, the graduation, wedding, birthday, baby shower, all those things. You want surprise, then you can place the order. I can make the stuff and I give me the phone number. I can surprise them, package it nicely and deliver it to them. I used to do this in the States and I used to mail it to my clients all over the States. But now I'm here. I should continue the process. Your pastor, your pastor's wife, your brother-in-law, your sister-in-law, coffee cup, mug. I got all. Oh, I was putting all those videos. At the end of my video, I put some little clips so you can see. Yes, I do all those things. Uh huh. You can start patronizing. When you know you're coming for vacation, you place your order. I can't at the ocean. Please, that's why I keep looking. When I should be looking in the camera. Uh -huh. When you come, you know you're coming for vacation. One or two months before you let me know, or one or two weeks before you let me know, you place your order, your size, everything, what you want. And when you come, you pick it up. You don't want to come to the beach to see my beautiful beach house. I can meet you in the city somewhere, and you're proud of you give my money. Hello, we have a cup of tea or wine or coffee or something with chit chat, and you're off you go. You getting me? But place your order. Place your order now. And you can get enough orders. You have to approach and ask your sister. I thank you guys, and I appreciate you so much. I thank you. The channel is growing. And I want to tell you guys, I appreciate all my tribe. If you watch this channel and you cannot, you cannot get enough. You are addicted to watching my channel. Every day you want to watch it. It's be watching my my latest video has become the highlight of your day. If you love it, and I love you too. You know what I, what that means? That means you are a game changer. That means you are a trailblazer. That means you are a pathfinder. That means you are a pioneer. Whenever you hear my video something in you stirs up something in you resonates it resonates with you you want to hop on the next plane and come on home you are part of this trap you are part of the pioneer that's that, that is being called that the spirit is calling you and say come on home you love it and build this country up and build this continent up to becoming what the, the leader of the free world it's possible the first will be the last the last will be the first africa has for long been the last isn't it God is flipping the script. He's flipping the script. And it's time for Africa to be the first, and the other people be the last who have always been the first. My last, I want to ask a question. Who sat down and decided you should be first world, you should be second world, you should be third world? Who made that decision? Uh -huh. The people who made that decision to call one nation first world, second world, third world are the same people who kept those nations in those conditions. If you don't believe me, do your own research. If you believe me, one of you, you don't believe me, it's okay. We won't, discuss, we won't debate, we won't fight. I still love you. 
I still love you and I still want you to come home and be my neighbors. We can sit here and eat dumbo with our hair, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. watching the beautiful ocean, have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a glass of wine, watch the sunrise, watch the sunset. We can come on down here and enjoy Liberia. For vacation, come on. When you finish, you won't go back, no problem. But you must patronize me. You see my t-shirt? I will place more in the cleaner. Thank you. I want this channel to hit out of 100,000 or 1 million subscribers by December. And don't tell me there, there are not 100,000 Liberians across the diaspora there's more than a hundred thousand liberians if each of you watch and hit subscribe this channel can blow up there are people out there who got channels that are just doing gossip and the latest jays and talking all kind of foolishness and you're eating it up and you're subscribing you're watching you're sharing somebody here trying to encourage you to motivate you to inspire you to provoke you to challenge you to call you to come home at least to consider or at least come on vacation don't go to dubai and india and china and for vacation and go to disney world disneyland come make come create a disney world here come create a disneyland here can i get an amen somebody don't go to great adventure the other theme park can't create your own theme park over here they got the other zoo over there can't create your own zoo over here come and create your own vacation spot you see Nobody wants a vacation in Liberia because there's nothing to do. My man, my friend, my young lady, you have traveled the world and you are seen they kind of feel like an attractive tourist. Come and develop your own. Come and put your own on ground. What you waiting for? Or get a team of people or take a loan. But come on home, somebody. Can I get an amen? I appreciate you. This is Dagnet, the African blogger, the Dagnet at Veretra. Veretra is my company's name. I'm selling beautiful beach land. Come and patronize and don't come and see my video and call me and say where is the place and you say you're ready to see the place and then when you see the place you go behind my back that is stealing that means you're a man and woman that lacks integrity and honor that is sabotage that is backstabbing you cannot do that to somebody and expect to prosper but those of you that those are like three percent five percent but majority of people have integrity they love me they patronize me they support me they cheer me on they encourage me all the time they call me they text me they encourage me they love me and i love you all back and i thank you that you are listening, that you are taking notes, and you are ready to come home and join me so we can enjoy this mm, sweet country and make it great, and this sweet continent mm, and make it great. Yeah, I made up my mouth. If I want a vacation, I'm going to vacation to Ghana, I'm going to Nigeria, I'm going to South Africa, I'm going to Seychelles, I'm going to Burkina Faso, and where else? I will vacation in the continent. Any money I make, I will keep it in the continent. I will vacation all in the continent. So, the continent is so big. Somalia, Ghana, Guinea Bissau, Mozambique, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Namibia, eh? Egypt, Niger, Chad, Cameroon, Libya. I will I will do my vacation all over the continent. Excuse me. I don't think they allow dogs. Otherwise I'll be near into an adventure. But no problem. I can take one week, go to this place, take my camera with me, do some videos, come back. After one or two months, take another video, go to this place, vacation. I'm serious. I, that's my next adventure. I'm thinking maybe next year I will start that. I'm trying to budget and start saving small, 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 small. That's why I need to sell some t-shirts. If you guys can help me to sell at least what? Hmm? I can sell at least 100 t-shirts. You want to know how much they are? I used to sell them for between 20 to 25 dollars in the States. Mm -hmm. Because this is work. This is work. This is energy. This is effort. These are things. And this t-shirt is... You see the teacher, it still looks new. The teacher is four or five years old. So I do very good work. I just realized that, what? This teacher, look at it. This teacher is four or five years old. Look at the, the printing. Nothing has peel, nothing chemo. Come on, you guys, look here. And this teacher is four, out of four or five years old. At least four years old, I think. You see there? This is four years, four or five years old. And look at it. The design, nothing peel, everything is perfect, still the same way. It's just the t shirt, the t shirt itself is rolling up because maybe it's a cheap brand. But the printing, the work, everything is perfect. Come patronize your girl. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Eh? Don't forget, I want you to share, subscribe, subscribe, and invite. And leave your comment in the comment section. Let this channel grow. Thank you.